all the characteristics of being a, a human or an animated entity, she tries to incorporate it to, to a rock. So it's her imagination actually that works. This is the 98th episode of the podcast. Jaya Ganoy po, keepsakes. Welcome to the second episode of 2022, where we talk about a Muppet versus a Pet Rock. Elmo vs. Rocco hit Twitter by storm, making people scratch their heads in amusement. Meanwhile, there are some aspects to this debacle that we want to discuss right here in this episode. Without further ado, let us welcome our guests. It's 124 of Sunday, January 30. This is podcast number 98. And we have here our good guests for this episode. First off, we have my good friend, Serena from thelilicat.com. Hi, Serena. Hello, Jay. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to you too. Long time no here. <laughs> Bakit kailan lang? <laughs> Wait, well, we technically... We technically met each other last month when I was there in Manila for almost a week. I think more than a week. More yeah. than a week. Oh, oh. oh, like oh, it was fun. It was fun. I'm hopefully I would come back in Manila around summertime Mm-mm. when theater doors finally open. Cause the NCCA will be having Lapu Lapu the musical and they're bringing back No Limit the opera. Which Ooh. I have seen the live stream last year, and mm. I've seen the 2019 limited run respectively. So like I'm looking forward to that. So finally, the theater doors are finally opening. Oh thank God! <laughs> uh uh. So like yeah. Just just. And then the bro- site, yeah. that yeah, the site relaunch also is very very close. So yeah. Which which site by the way? Uh, lilycat.com Oh yeah, uh, I was about to, mm. uh, I was thinking already about the Metropolitan Theater because Serena is into theater mm. talaga true and true. Like oh, you attended yeah. the Lion King, you attended the uh, ano pa ba? Fan of the Opera and all. Oh, um Wicked, Les Misérables, um Sweeney Todd. Mm-mm. Uh and the last musical that I've ever watched before like the whole world closed was Cats. Cats, the musical. Yeah, I've watched the musical version before the the you know that that excuse that of a movie adaptation <laughs> was released. So yeah, um, everybody is still hooked with Encanto, so like I'm happy with that because the music and lyrics is done by Lin Manuel Miranda, Who who's is? also the man behind Hamilton the musical, and I'm also one of my. Uh, musicals that I want to watch. Mm, so, yeah. Nice. Mm. Nice. All right. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Serena. And since we are not experts in psychology here, uh, and there's a, a, also a like a stereotype, stereotype that uh, as students who study psychology read human minds, which is that's not the case. There was this one tagline in our college uh, when I was studying in college. Uh, this uh, there, there's a college uh, or, or association or group of psychology students, uh, which uh, they stand for this tagline: "We do not read minds; we read human behavior." And uh, to help us read the human behavior uh, for this episode is Hello Mirai, who is approaching, is going to, uh, going to the. Uh, an, how do I say it, Mirai? <laughs> Hello, hi guys. Uh, how do I say it? Um, I'm actually a clinical, I'm a clinical psych major, so mm. I only need my thesis before I become a psychologist. I have to take the boards then. So yes, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting yes, there. It's an honor to be in this episode with you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm happy to see you guys virtually. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Just to let everyone know that uh, Mirai helped me to uh, get an interview with the, uh, the members of the Filipino Sign Language Access Team. And they're still doing their good work on broadcast television as Filipino Sign Language interpreters. 
So uh, I'm going to link the actual interview that we did last time. And that was during a time where all of a sudden, things have stopped. That was two years ago. Two years ago. Kasi that was at the start of the pandemic, I believe. Eh. So, yeah. 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 On this episode, we have this one. Elmo versus Rocco. This topic shook everyone at the start of 2022. My goodness. Tama, no? 2022. Or di- it, was technically, it was technically the first trending thing you see on Twitter on the first week of 2022. Di ba? Di ba? Parang, parang ano lang eh, no? What I thought in, in uh, myself is that it's still 2020. Kaya nga sabi nga, 2020 pa rin. 2022. Pero, man, this Elmo versus Rocco thing uh, is is blowing up my mind to the point that Dwayne The Rock Johnson actually replied to this. Actually, <laughs> to, this, to this matter. So, we're here to uh, discuss yung uh, something that's overlooked in this whole trending thing. The human behavior on why, uh, why, ano, ba, kumbaga parang we will try to understand, we do, uh, we'll do our best to understand why Sesame Workshop actually had this one cleared for broadcast. <laughs> because I never saw Elmo this angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like, uh, uh, and actually it, it, it was out of nowhere because diba? you know Elmo is known as you know the sweet uh, one of the sweetest cinnamon rolls in Sesame Street diba? and then he has, he has his own he has his own segment called yes. Elmo's World, World. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Elmo's World I okay that was uh, I was already kumbaga parang daydream ko na dati nung kabataan kong Elmo's World not gonna lie. Yeah. And Elmo has yeah. Elmo has his own show on HBO Max. Yeah. And it's like seeing that like him raging over a rock. Like, <laughs> dude, dude, come come somebody <laughs> give him water or something. <laughs> uh, for some that could have ruined their childhood uh image like, of Elmo as a sweet oh, cinnamon oh, roll, right? it, Oh dude, it's like if I was like like 10 years younger or whatever that was technically childhood ruin for me <laughs> it's like dude what if i used to idolize i used to idolize you why are you like this <laughs> <laughs> all right so in that in that regard we'll ask mirai questions and uh serena mm-hmm. can pitch in as well so here's uh the set of questions it's around six questions and uh, okay. this can extend uh, well. Elmo stands his ground that Rocco, Zoe's pet, is a rock. So, okay. bakit ganon? Why so? Ah, okay. Uh, sa observation ko sa ano ah, sa mga videos ni Elmo's not, uh, Rocco's not a rock. <laughs> so, uh, I think si Elmo kasi, I think he stands. I think he he's a he. Yeah, <laughs> Elmo he. stands on that uh, notion that if you're an anim- animate uh, creature, you mm-hmm. should be having hands. You should be gumagalo ka dapat and all that. Parang parang na conceptualize na, na hindi siya animate object kasi wala siya ng mga characteristics na yun na dapat may bibig siya, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung sa cookie, wala daw siyang bibig. So, that's why Elmo was saying na, uh, bakit bibigyan siya ng cookie? Wala naman siyang mouth. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's Elmo's stand, which is definitely normal. But at the same time, Elmo's missing out something. But considering kung may age si Elmo, I think he is considered a kid. Yes. There are some huh? co- concepts na hindi na naiintindihan. The reason why Zoe considers Rocco a rock. So, so that's how it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. And considering yeah. that uh, at this time, we've already gone past through the popularity of the pet rock, which mm-hmm. was 
uh, a novelty item in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, which was prepared, yeah. which was uh, <laughs> from uh, kinuha yan mula sa utak ng isang adman, as far as I understood. Someone who knows how to market stuff. So, uh, okay, moving on. Zoe insists that Rocco is a living pet. I don't know if I said this correctly, ano, but because we observe yeah. in the video, uh, the videos rather, in the memes, that uh, Zoe insists that Rocco uh, likes this cookie, this piece of cookie, this oatmeal cookie mm-hmm. that Elmo also likes. So, therefore, you cannot take it away from Rocco. Mm-hmm. Refusing, she, she's refusing to hand over the oatmeal raisin cookie to Elmo. So, what's how, how would you uh, perceive that or conceive? See Zoe. Yeah. Uh, si Zoe naman, on the other hand, so, so kanina I explain Elmo. So, this one, on Zoe's side naman, uh, there's also nothing wrong with how mm-hmm. Zoe feels about the rock. Yun nga, sasabi ko nga yung context kasi is they are both kids. Uh, mm-hmm. In case of, of Zoe, probably, she's probably younger. Kasi, uh, young kids, like mga ano, nasa preschool kasi, they really tend to have this thing called, yun nga, uh, symbolic play. Mm. Or parang they, mm. they consider things as imaginary friends. Something like that. It's either you consider a thing as an uh, something like kunyari, you, you have a stick tapos you ride on it you imagine it's a horse stuff like that so parang ganun uh, or I, it's either something that's talagang you're, you're not looking at an object pero you're imagining may kasama ka so parang imaginary friend something like that so mm. for preschoolers kasi it's normal for their cognitive development talaga so it starts mm. from 18 months old like Parent, almost two years old, up to five. So that's normal for kids. Sometimes it reaches up to seven, pang eh. But yeah, uh, symbolic play is normal. Mm. I for, have yeah. one mm-hmm. example for that situation. Mm-hmm. Um, sadly, it's me. It's um, you, yeah. At, Go. Ito <laughs> kasi yon. Um, when I was like around six or seven that was also the time when i when i was introduced to my very first anime character and to me at that time i considered her a a real hero or something Mm -mm. sailor moon Mm -mm. and and there was that there was a part of me when like i know that sailor moon is real like i I treated her like every time I see her, she's like a real superhero that you know, like that I really idolize and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. Mm-mm. And uh, until until I I think until umabot siya ng, uh, yeah around that age range like six or seven, I really thought that Sailor Moon was real. real. <laughs> <laughs> like and just, she she was really my idol and you know. Uh, because I had a kind of, I kind of have a, um, how do, my childhood is kind of, how do I describe this? I was, I was totally different from the other kids. Because first off, I, my, uh, my first language is English and people around my area speak uh, either Tagalog or Bisaya and I don't mm-hmm. know how to speak that. So mm-hmm. I was really different. And at the time, although I did not understand Tagalog, I really had a connection with Sailor Moon. Like <laughs> she, she has powers. She get, she has these cool friends, and I really wish I had cool friends. And Neon, um, <laughs> I kind of believe that she was. There was one point that I really believed that she was real, and <laughs> uh, a bit until now, until. Uh, when I went older, like right now, I still consider her as like every time I talk about Sailor Moon I and the Sailor Senshis, I talk about them like they're my friends. Though they're not really real, but I like I talk about them in a way that they changed my life or something like that. They're the reason why I got into anime. Ganun, ganun. So yun. Mm, I see. Yeah. 
And kind of oh. remembered, yeah, just uh, kind of reminds me of my childhood back then. So, yun. And I did, there was a time that I did uh, had, uh, you know, imaginary friends and all that stuff. But I never went to, but I grew out of it around like third graders, stuff like that. But this is what this is what happens when you don't really have friends <laughs> in in your childhood. I had a very lonely childhood back then, so like yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And it's it's very big integral talaga that just you need social social life as a kid. So yeah, that's very true. Mm. Mm. Uh, about about the age of Zoe and Elmo. Well, you are actually correct because Zoe is three years old. Uh, as recorded, uh-huh. uh, and Elmo is three and a half years old. Oh, <laughs> I just I just, know this. I just Google it. Wow. Uh, Elmo is self-described as three and a half years old uh, with the birthday of February three. While Zoe is a three-year-old. Uh, where's the source? Yeah, they have a season forty-seven Prescott profile. They even have Prescotts for this. <laughs> wow! Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know. The more I, you I know. I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, although it's non-existent anymore, the the source. But yeah, we can we can go mm. back to the questions, ano. Uh, um. Okay. And on the scenario that we uh, uh we go back to that scenario, Elmo refuses to believe that Rocco has a mouth as he continues to <laughs> stand his ground. So, mm-hmm. what do we think of this? Is this more of an insistence? Or is it is this the uh, no, uh, Elmo wanting to uh, uh, tell Zoe to get back to reality? Is uh, what is it? Um, probably I think both because Elmo likes the cookie and kids knowing underage they're more instinctive. Kumbaga, if they wanted mm-hmm. something, they would pursue that. So it's something that way. And at the same time, then it's more of. Elmo feels that he she he needs to help Zoe step back to reality, which is yeah. actually that is reality. Talaga. There's nothing wrong, talaga, but Elmo doesn't understand it on his age yet. So gajan siya. Mm-mm. So parang ito ba yung case mm-hmm. ng batang ano? Uh, candy, yung bata at saka candy ano? Yung mm-hmm. ano? Any, any, anything that you can do to get that that well-deserved candy, or in Elmo's case, that oatmeal cookie. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, Mm-mm. yun. So, okay. Uh, next up, uh, Zoe says that Rocco will tell the difference between a cookie and another. So, sabi ni Zoe mm-hmm. yun. Zoe said that. Mm-hmm. Rocco will tell the difference between a cookie and another. Okay. Yeah, so, um, what, uh, what's, what's in Zoe's mind siguro uh, when she said that? What I uh, know, what do, I I don't I, I uh, or rather what's in Zoe's behavior? Yun yung tama kasi again we don't read minds mm-hmm. here we read human behavior. Mm-hmm. So what uh, what would be Zoe's behavior when she said that? She she's trying to uh, emanate that Rocco is quote unquote real like mm-hmm. a friend. Mm. So that's yes. why all the characteristics of being. A, a human or an animated uh, entity, she tries to incorporate it to, to a rock. Mm. So it's her imagination actually that works. Mm. So therefore, it's Zoe speaking on behalf of Rocco. Of Rocco. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this matter actually, Ingat, again, this matter has exploded to a point where another rock, <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson, <laughs> speaks up on Twitter about this. So what can you say about this? Yeah, I, I read the tweet uh, hours back. <laughs> and it was fun. I, I read the tweet. I really searched that. So, I think The Rock is supporting uh, the advocacy of Sesame Street mm-hmm. to shed True. light on, you know, the reality that some kids doesn't understand other kids who are also uh, having that face where they have their imaginary friends or making you know, symbolic play in psychology. So I think Dwayne Jones is just aware that there's nothing wrong with it. And that's why it's good to see Elmo does a tweet. And has anybody ever seen a rock eat a cookie? Elmo's just curious. 
<laughs> as a sinigat niya sa tweet niya. So, it's really, it's really fun to see that uh, celebrities like Dwayne Johnson are uh, at least aware. And mm-hmm. uh, they, they shed light that there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I think he's just very supportive of Sesame Street's initiatives. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I just recently f- uh, found this one out, I know. This is episode yeah, 4235 okay. of Sesame Street from 2010, uh-huh. Zoe Loves Rocco. Ito yung, hin- ito yung ngayon ko lang na nakita. So, this one right here is... Uh, okay, so the scene is uh, Elmo uh, lost Rocco. So, this is the continued scene. Elmo has mm-hmm. his baby David. But uh, uh-huh. uh, Zoe asks Elmo to watch Rocco while she's gone. So, pinagkatiwala ni, ni Zoe oh. kay Elmo si Rocco. This is, the, mm-hmm. this is that one thing that uh-huh. uh, we just realized right now. <laughs> Ito yung nawawala <laughs> sa narrative. <laughs> My God. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. A, a frisbee flies over Elmo. Uh-huh. And then... Uh, Eventually, Zoe comes back to find out that Rocco is now missing. And Elmo doesn't understand Oof. what happened and tries to cheer Zoe up with another ruckus replacement. <laughs> Pero nagali si Zoe. Oh. <laughs> at hinanap niya si Rocco. Mm-mm. So we're just reading the whole... Ano, this is a spoiler-filled discussion. Ano? This episode yeah, yeah. 435. <laughs> ano? um, of course, um, what I understood here is that... Uh, ito, ito yon. So we have this uh, lady, uh, girl, uh, named Madison, and mm-hmm. Elmo asked her about Rocco. She found the rock and kicked mm-hmm. it around the street, left it in the garden. So uh, Elmo and uh, this one's uh, named Chris, uh, uh, they went uh, to search for Rocco in a garden of pebbles. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and this time... Elmo uses I his can mi- imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Elmo uses his memory again to describe what Rocco looks like while Chris tries to match his memory and they finally find a rock that fits Rocco's description and Elmo goes to find Zoe. So, uh, he turns Rocco to her, making her happy and making them friends again. So, that's the that's the whole episode there. That's episode 4235. Interestingly, that's that's something that mm-hmm. uh, every one of us here has just realized. Kung hindi pa ako, kung hindi pa dahil dun sa sa edad ni Zoe at Elmo, hindi natin malalaman that there's this actual episode where we get to see this. How do you observe this one, this episode, in just a brief uh, synopsis, ba? Ano yung connection ni Zoe kay Rocco? Ha. Mayo mayo tricky na. <laughs> yeah. Pero, yeah. So so parang ang pinaka context is nawala, di ba nawala si Rocco. the rock, the rock, yeah. Rocco. Yeah, Rocco. Okay. Yeah. And then ano nangyari? Elmo finds a substitute na kawig ni Rocco. Oo, oh, oh. and then mm, nagalit si Zoe because hindi yun si Rocco. So they mm. they decided to find her and buti naman nakahanap sila ng lead and only to na- ano, only to find them na, na Garden of Pebbles, Garden of Rocks. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Diba? And then, pero alam pero sa sobrang inis ni Elmo kay Rako most likely alam na niya kung sino si Rako kung ano si Rako kung ano yung characteristics niya <laughs> right? so they were able Mm-mm. to find him so okay now let's let's go to that ano? kasi it's more about uh, behavior it's about the getting used to someone you do not like ba? Oh, yung mm-hmm. yung okay. Rock. Okay. Elmo doesn't like Rocco so much that Elmo remembers Rocco, and is driven crazy <laughs> by it. Is I I, mm-hmm. I I assume that would be the case because mm-hmm. kung hindi malala ni Elmo si Rocco, uh, hindi niya makikita o hindi niya may describe kung, si, kung ano si Rocco, mm-hmm. what kind of rock is Rocco. So uh, does it mm-hmm. make? Do I make sense? <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yes, it makes sense. This is really a uh, a a, dis- uh, a breakthrough, no discovery in in, in my case, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you know, no. Um, in in this regard, 
since we've also learned about this episode and the debacle that we were discussing, what should we learn from this? Uh, Serena, do you want to say something? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I I'll I'll be very honest. After watching that video, kind of reminded me of is this 2019 me? Mm-mm. I think I think uh, like, you you mentioned that in 2019 me and uh, okay, go on. Yeah, like it kind of reminded me of myself believing on on this thing like believing on you know someone like they're they're good they're like they're they're, they're true people ganun, ganun. they're very truthful they're very honest and all that stuff and at the end of the day hindi pala mm. ganun like they're not what they see they're not they're not they're actually fake and not real that kind of thing mm-hmm. then it's it's just me na Though there are a lot of people who kept telling me that don't believe on this, don't believe on this person, because, alam mo, maraming issue yan, like blah blah blah, and then they were they were telling me things at left and right, and then and then there's this me, who is very you know I'm a, and this is the weakness of me sometimes, like I don't really believe on what people say. About especially when it comes to a certain person, so I'm blinded or I just don't want to believe in that. So I still believe that this person is what I think they are. Like they're good. They're he's a good person. He's she's a good person or something like that. Pero le, na later ko na 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 ano parang na later ko na na realize na they weren't really what they seem. So, totoo pala yung sinabi ng mga tao and stuff like that. So, yun. Mm-mm. I don't uh, know if that makes sense. But that's how, that's how I, that's how I kind of see it. Because it really reminded me of that situation. Na sometimes, I, it's, it's my fault. Parang, I blame myself because I was so blinded of what this person showed me or something like that. That at the end of the day, I was just being used or something, and I realized that they weren't the real person that I thought they would be. Mm. So, kumbaga, it's more of uh, to see is to believe. Uh, are you mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kind of like that? Oh, mm. then there was a part of me na kind of after the incident, or the, after that revelation kind of thing, I was like, self, why did you not listen to what people say that he? that he or she was not really not really a good person pala Mm-mm. why did you have to hang on with the with a quote unquote friendship that lasted for half a year or more than a year and then to find out hindi pala sila totoo Mm-mm. in in the friendship sense na ginagamit ka lang Mm-mm. they were you you be taken advantage with ganun so yun Mm-mm. Kumbaga, it's more of an, yun nga, an expectation versus reality kind of thing. And also, mm-hmm. um, okay, I don't know if uh, the way the feedback uh, was relayed to you, uh, the, the way that they do that is parang friendly or hostile. I'm, uh, that that uh, we will uh, not know, um, I guess. Yeah. I, actually, it's a mix of both. Kasi mm. um, there's a part of the people who commented na they just heard it because they just heard it from other people so they relayed that message to me mm-hmm. and then there is a small part of that population of who knew this person really witnessed their behavior mm-hmm. so parang ganun so parang ang tono J it's like a mix of both mm-hmm. kind of thing mm-hmm. pero it kind of parang same parang same conclusion ng silang dalawa eh. mm-hmm. like the guy isn't, or the guy or the girl isn't really what you think they, he or she is. Mm-hmm. Parang ganon. Lahat naman tayo may mga tinatagong sekreto eh. Pero Ay. more, more on, uh, more over on that. So, I, uh, to recap lang yung, ano, yung message mo, no? Is that uh, mm. not everyone is the way or the, sa- the same as the way you think they are. Mirai, uh, let's go back to you. So, what should we learn from the Elmo versus Rocco debacle? Uh, 
I think what can we learn about it is n- not every kid uh, develops the same way as other kids do. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Yeah. differences ni Elmo cha ni Zoe. Mm-hmm. And that's even if medyo hindi na wholesome si Elmo kasi nagwawala yeah. siya. Oh my <laughs> god. Nagwawala siya sa Sesame Street. I think Sesame Street is kind of uh, making a breakthrough na shed reality na may ganun talaga situations within kids. Mm-mm. So, Mm-mm. I think that's what's about it eh. Mm-mm. But at the end of the day naman, this is show I think. I assume that na- na-resolve naman siya. So, mm-hmm. yun naman yung pinaka-important na part eh. For the kids to learn. Mm-mm. Okay, so we we're, we're we're mentioning yung symbolic play and the uh, yung mm-hmm. yung ano nga um the uh, the pet truck and then yung co- uh, if there are complex concepts on that ano so uh, yeah uh, what I'm learning from this debacle is that there are there are people who who yeah they there there are always people with with different uh, tastes different viewpoints. Pero the way kasi di ba Elmo insists the way Elmo insists na that the Elmo's driven crazy by this piece of rock is is this more of an overreaction or talagang uh, this is the way this is the way kids uh, during uh, at the, at their age behave I think it's normal so, some of them probably binubuli kung, kung may Zoe din na version sa re- in real life baka nabubuli pa si Zoe mm-hmm. mabait pa si Elmo this on this mm-hmm. show to be very honest so mm-hmm. yeah i think it's still normal it's still okay mm-hmm. it's still not as traumatizing as the real world can actually present oh. so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but 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 mm-hmm. this is a leap uh, this is a step forward to show the realities because uh, i believe uh, as we go through this i was googling all around while you were discussing these matters there is a character a new character in sesame street that has uh, autism. Mm, yeah. Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, Julia. Julia, yes. 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 Uh, yeah, yes. Julia, yes. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, in regards to that, yun nga, there are concepts that Sesame Street continues to open. And of course, some of us adults can act like kids insisting our beliefs to others. Especially mm. in the comments. <laughs> Uh, well, it, it can be applied now in our current situation right Every now. Every time, like, like me, you, elections, diba, diba, elections. <laughs> diba, both sides are insisting na ito yung tama, ito yung tama, this is the right thing, mm-hmm. this is the right thing to mm-hmm. do. Ganito, yeah. diba? With, uh, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. As someone who took a step back to understand these matters, to to try my best i'm doing my best to understand these matters regardless kung election or hindi the, mm. ano, kumbaga parang, um i think i believe up uh, uh what i believe here is that approach is key the right approach is key tama do yeah. i make sense yes kasi yes. Diba, I, i've been i've been talking about uh, elmo's hostile behavior towards that rock Mm-mm. and then you and then we we uh we had the revelation er, uh, later on na uh, elmo understood na Zoe and Rocco hindi mo masya- masi-separate. Inseparable. Mm-hmm. So, Elmo mm-hmm. finally understands Rocco's, you know, value ni Rocco kay uh, mm-hmm. Zo- Zoe. Mm-hmm. Ang galing, you know? How, how, yeah. how, how can this meme bring us to a conversation that is around 33 it's... minutes at this point? <laughs> It is it is so deep man like yeah. I also yeah it made me realize also parang yeah it's kind of life changing <laughs> and I think that's kind of what we need for this year really Mm-mm. is to understand each other by just a piece of rock yeah diba yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm profound ba? nung rock diba diba <laughs> oh. ba- bakit yung isa what, why one piece uh, uh, what, why, why is this a uh, this piece of rock tells us about uh, human behavior. Diba? Big brain moment. <laughs> yeah. Sesame <laughs> Street did a good job on this one. <laughs> yeah, true. Mm-hmm. And and given that uh, Sesame Street r- does have real uh, people working Mm-mm. behind Mm-mm. the scenes, real uh, people, and uh, they are experts mm-hmm. in their fields, 
child development, psychology, human behavior, mm-hmm. and of course, let's not forget the ABC one two three, sa no. And this is why, mm-hmm. despite uh, yun yeah, this this is a project that uh, is years uh, being you know the longest one of the longest running children's shows, and still is a relevant uh, show for mm-hmm. everyone, you know. So you can, if if you are a parent. What I suggest is that you you give uh, I don't know ah I, I'm not, I'm uh, you 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 give the kids a trip to Sesame Street and not Coco Melon. Is I will be insistent not Coco Melon. You scored. I I swear yeah. to God that Coco Melon is a cult. Please, <laughs> it's like I I watched their videos like I watched their videos like dude this is like parang ano eh like the the songs are just like. It's repetitive, oh, diba? Oh, I don't... It's repe- repetitive. Rep- it's like it's like a it's like a mantra, and you're you're teaching kids how to these mantras. No, diba? it's okay. like no. Diba? Mirai, mirai, and it's, it, it, it goes to the point, Jay. It's so scary. Mm. If you keep watching the videos, it will go to a point like, dude, this this is scary. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna let my kids like. <laughs> Why do these kids like this one? Like imagine there my isang flight ako Jay, mm-hmm. na entire flight nakatabi ko na may bata and then her uh, her parent. Iba ano entire flight puro Coco Melon play then loudspeaker <laughs> pa yung ano. No. <laughs> ah, with sayote. Pero yun yan. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, those uh, what I understand about Coco Melon, although I only know them because of Coco Martin. <laughs> Coco Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I understand about Coco Melon is that the the songs were made to be repetitive so that the child can remember it. It's more of like a parang um, ano ano. Do I make sense though, Mirai? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I would must Sesame Street has more content, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I I actually haven't watched any Coco Melon shows. I just hear oh, please. like Coco don't Melon. watch, <laughs> no, don't don't watch, don't watch or listen to their songs, Mirai. Please, okay, it will okay, save okay. your life. Got that? <laughs> <laughs> like no. I can I can I can just watch Coco Martin hundreds of times and not watch Coco Melon altogether. Oh no, that's, just, that's no, how... just don't listen to the songs. Because <laughs> of, of course the quarantine. We have, uh, no, I don't, yeah. I'm not, I'm no not a parent. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. I'm not a parent, mm-hmm. but I do not have any other choice if I were to be a parent in this time of pandemic. And sakit talaga. This is mentally mm-hmm. exhausting. So, yeah. Yun nga, no, uh, irregardless of this, kaya, uh, that's why we are encouraged, uh, encouraging. I am encouraging, but, well, ako, lumaki ako sa Sesame Street at sa Batibot. Yes, same. Manang bola, kumatsing, right. pong same. pagong. We grew up on that because, There are experts who understand the value of television, the the benefits mm. that the television can give. Hindi mm. nila tinignan yung negative na ano na there's news and oh, this morning kids are awake at that time. What do we show them? Di ba? Kaya nga mm. nung nung nung, nung, nung yeah. remake ng Batibot, uh, unfortunately hindi ko na siya napanood yung mga yung yung next iteration ng Batibot but I understand Please. that they want Sineskwela everybody Sineskwela Hirayo Manawari Hirayo Manawari <laughs> yeah. yan yung kinalakihan natin ng yung mga programs ng ABS-CBN Foundation it was sadly they have to transfer all those shows to Knowledge Channel mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so to make way for other programming I think Knowledge Channel is still it's still there um, I think it's still there. Yeah, it's still I mean, there. It's still there, there being it... broadcast on digital, I think, sa channel uh, 31. Ah, yeah, digital. Wala na yeah. sila sa free air TV. Yeah. Ah, no I see. Kala ko sila ma sila na ano, tinanggal yung channel. I thought wala na sila. I know. Uh, oh, knowledge channel is a foundation yet, okay. on its own. And that's why they, oh. they still, ano, they still, they're still there. Part of it naman nila ang DepEd, eh. And, ah, uh, that's good, that's good. Oh. Yeah, as far as I understood. Uh, of course, that is separate oh. from the DepEd TV. So yeah, uh, no, th- there, there's a reason why we adults who got used to these kinds of children's shows uh, are encouraging our future kids to watch these because there are lessons in it. Eh. 
Karen's yes. World about Karen yeah. the Carabao. That's why I got to see Tony Petgaba for the first time. <laughs> He's Aww. Art Angel. He's Art Angel. <laughs> Karen's World. <laughs> diba? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Karen's World. Oh, my. <laughs> diba? Diba? ETV. Oh, that was God. ETV at that time. Ano oh, pa yeah, ba yung yeah, why? Yeah. Why? And they have this folklore then, music, diba? <laughs> oh. Diba? Then, Apple Apple, Apple, there's yeah, that Apple, Apple Apple. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. And then Art Angel. Yeah, yeah, right. then, yeah diba? <laughs> the last the last educational show that I really enjoyed was yeah, Art Angel. Para siyang Filipino art attack. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Thing. Oh. Diba? And ABC Ben also tried to get that same formula with Art Jam. I believe it was Epic yeah, Inson. But, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. it didn't really Work it didn't out. really, <laughs> yeah, didn't really work out. Before well, Art yeah. Angel, though, there is Art e School with the uh, school. Uh, Robert Alhambra and, school. and John yeah. Mike Tejido. John yeah. Mike Tejido, yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who eventually created Fold the Bots for K Zone. Oh, really? Shop, shop, oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. yeah, my God, my God, childhood. K Zone, yung mga batang laki sa K Zone, taas ang kamay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mitch. <laughs> Which, which? W I T C H. Yung mga mga ano, summit media. So you see how uh, enthusiastic are we when we discuss about these mm. things? Sa parang nakikita nyo na edad namin mga ate ko yah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jay, we should have a episode which where we talk about these old magazines, especially which I have yeah. so many things to talk about. Which, especially the, this one guy, Caleb. Who? Caleb. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, <na yan. laughs> Oh my God! And you know, you know, no. you know. I had a breakthrough at that time. Ano? I got a copy of WITCH. One of their advice columns mm. is with Irma telling people, "Oh, my copy of WITCH, but I believe it's this is a uh-huh. uh, a magazine or a, uh, a series catered to females." to girls. Yeah. I'm a guy. Mm-hmm. So what, ano, na- nakita ko, ano ba yung magiging excuse ko? Irma says in that column, and I paraphrase, mm-hmm. uh, sabi mo na lang, crush mo, may, may ano, uh, andito, and, nasa series na yun yung crush mo. And, diba? <laughs> oh, yeah. Diba? That was a big oh, yeah, until, until now, um, I think, I, I would admit that one of my girl crushes in which is still is still Halen. Halen, oh, oh. So like yeah, Halen, yeah. But uh, let, I, we don't, we don't. Uh, Caleb, no. And then we don't want to talk about Caleb. I, <laughs> I, there's so many things I want to talk about him. He has, he's toxic, but mm, I, I, I don't wanna. Baka mag ano siguro. Like if ever Jay opens up another episode, another episode. To these kinds of <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah. Which reminds me, gusto kong ano, I, if if there's someone in WITC that I want to have a coffee with, ano, parang mm. ano lang, the, the casual talks, it it should be Wilhelmina or Will Vandom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll be very honest with you, Jay. Mm. Like, as somebody who who actually read, um, diba it actually ended abruptly sa PH eh. release. Oh, oh. I've what I've read the further releases na after the PH release, and I have to say, Will should stop talking about his, her. Ano, Will should not be too obsessed with her boyfriend. Ay. <laughs> Eto na niya masabi ko. This applies to everybody, okay? Like, don't be too obsessed with your significant other. I know that you freaking love each other like go ahead go express what you want to express but girl you have your own life too like like you can give 95 percent of yourself to the one you love or whatever but at least give up a slice of pie for yourself to enjoy what you to enjoy as yourself like will is like that's why will sometimes go into a drama drama rama kind of thing all throughout the series because She's torn like she's torn being a guardian of Kandrakar and being a girlfriend to Matt who is super popular and part of a band kind of thing. So mm. like yeah. But I kinda understand what Disney was trying to do here, like you know, the 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 teen the teen phase of facing the situations. 
like taking responsibility and going to you know like dealing with relationships and stuff like that mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. i understand that uh disney had uh, had uh, exported this to the to throughout the world yeah. from italy and i'm creative mm-hmm. myself italy i tell you mm-hmm. like italy's home to rainbow srl which is home to wings club, Winx club. Mm. Oh yeah, and speaking of Wings Club, it's like Wings Club is celebrating its 18th birthday just very recently. Oh, the butante. So like yeah, yeah, 18. It's like 18 years already since Wings Club Mm-mm. aired, Mm-mm. and mm-hmm. until now it's one of my favorite like Western uh, magical girl shows. Mm-mm. Let's not talk about the, the Netflix series. <laughs> That's all. <awful. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we can talk about that in a different episode, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, don't forget Marathon Animation of France. France. Mm, French totally anime. Spy. Totally Spice Martin Mystery. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mirai, can you relate with us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucker, can we, all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, my childhood. Was, our childhood was awesome. We had these good shows, and not like now. It's Kukube. Coco Bello. Coco Martin. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just happy that I was born on that era. That, yeah, there were so many. I was, there's so many things to dive into. And Ay. speaking of speaking of which, mm. pala Jay, mm. naalala ko yung ano. Like, I'm I'm sure you guys are familiar with that special issue of which na yung black cover. Yung black. Yeah, I I kind of remembered like some girls really cried over that special issue because it was the last issue that you see Caleb and Cornelia together. Man. Yeah, that was the last. That was the last chapter. And after the release of that special issue, because regular issue na, wala na. You won't be seeing any more Caleb. in Cornelia content. <laughs> Halatang galit kay Caleb, eh, no? Oh my God. I, no. I don't, there's so many things I want to talk about Caleb. But I'll save it for, for, for another, another episode. <laughs> another episode. Uh-uh. So like, yeah. Mm-mm. Which reminds me, uh, to recap everything that we've discussed, uh, again, mm-hmm. uh, all of this, this meme altogether, is human behavior. And that we understand mm-hmm. that What happened with Elmo, Zoe, and Rocco is human behavior, normal human behavior, and how. Kind of like uh, and, reality check. Oh, reality check, na rin. If you have something that you really love the most, for example, yung paper bag na galing pa ng Hoyo Fest, na ikano, ah. kaya nga, There's a reason why collectors exist. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. Even and Petrax. they get to frame it. <laughs> diba? Di, diba? Diba? Uh, 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 uh. Uh-uh. So there's an affinity na kumbaga pa- parang pag sinabi mo ano eh kumbaga uh, let's let's go to a scenario. Kasal kayo, yung asawa mo hindi maintindihan kung bakit ka nangongolekta ng toys. You're a guy and who loves toys. You're a child mm. at heart. Mm, yeah, yeah. 'Di ba? Yeah, this goes to uh, everyone and di- di ba, may mga ganung real world scenarios eh. So uh mm. what what this meme tells uh what does this meme tell kids about is yung nature na different strokes for different folks talaga hmm. that's as far okay. as understood and through mirai we learned that there are uh concepts such as pretense or symbolic play mm-hmm. and then uh there's this maturity nga on reality ano so once mm-hmm. again thank you very much mirai and serena first up thank we have you. mirai uh, mirai san ka namin makita so Ah, on Facebook. Actually, I'm on hiatus, but I'm coming back soon. Uh, yay! So Facebook, yay! Just like Serena, she's also coming back on her website. I saw it yeah. just now. So oh. I'm on Facebook at Hello Mirai Art and on Twitter at Hello Mirai Art. I am currently streaming on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch channel is actually for leisure stuff. Pero later, then actually, my mental health. stream ako tonight at nine so Ooh. that was my first mental health content on my twitch so at hello underscore mirai naman yun twitch ko so i yeah, have to set a reminder see me, guys. i have to set a reminder yeah. on that because 
Uh, by this time this episode gets released, you can actually watch that as a video on demand, right? You'll post that on YouTube too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, You'll have yeah. to download the whole content because I'll have to look back to that because at that time, I'll edit ako ng buong episode of this episode. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. All right. All right, thank you. And Serena, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, Serena, where do we find you? Aside from the Lily Cat. Uh, uh, yeah, the lilycat.com, almost, it's almost done. Um, there's going to be... Uh, I'm going to be reviewing a certain manga that I read a few a few years back, so kind of like that. And uh, it's I'm also on Twitter, Serena Moon Kitty. Uh, you'll probably see me retweeting CCS, Clamp, and other things. All right. So with uh, with that said, thank you very much. Past episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes. I do share my show notes on my uh, website. Uh, it's no longer a blog because eh, altogether keepsakes is now a podcast. Eh. Jagoni.xyz. And most of the time, you will see me writing about VTubers on animecorner.me. With that said, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>